Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today, we have more toys to look at, actually. <laughs> I thought I'd shake it up a little bit. And when I saw these the other day, I was like, okay, you know what? I gotta kind of get these. Pop figure number 512. It's from the Venom series. It's Venomized Storm. And in this set, there's a, there's a, a figure number 510, which is Venomized Thanos. Uh, 511, which is actually my birthday, 511, uh, Venomized Groot, uh, 512 is Storm, and 513 and 14 we'll talk about here in a second, and then 515 is Venomized Rocket. And now the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, like, I'm not really a collector of their stuff. I like the movies fine, um, and I like the characters fine, and I know the Groot one was in, like, a, one of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon episodes, um, and I think even Thanos being, you know, consumed by, like, a carnage, I think, was in one of the cartoon episodes, but I think these are more based on maybe the comics, in a way, and the Venomized comics. So, uh, but I don't really have a connection to those characters so much as I do like characters like Daredevil and the X-Men. So when I saw this one, Mohawk Storm with Venomized on her, I was like, okay, I got to go and at least get that one figure uh, because this is nice. I really like the sculpt on her. She is really, really cool. She kind of has like that she venom design in a way, but she's got the cool, like mo the white mohawk. It looks so awesome. I, that's my favorite version of Storm of all time. I love her with the mohawk. She's so cool. And I love that whole storyline with her and Forge in the 80s, uh, you know, with Barry Windsor Smith doing the artwork, uh, Life Death and stuff. Love that stuff. It's so great. So I was like, this is a great mixing of my two favorite things, which is Storm, you know, is in the X-Men and Venom. So uh, I was like, all right, I got to get that. So when I saw that, I get there to the store and I saw this other figure and I said, you know what? I'm a big Daredevil fan. I really like the show. I even like the Ben Affleck movie to a degree, like to a little degree. Um, and But I love the character and I've been a big fan of him ever since Frank Miller uh, wrote the character. Um, and that's that was my introduction to Daredevil. And man, oh man, did it leave an impact on me, especially as a Catholic kid growing up. Um, uh, you know, so reading that book was always amazing to me. So when I saw that they did a Daredevil, and he's kind of venomized, but he's more carnageized, really. Um, it's uh, Venom uh, figure number 513 of the set, um, venomized Daredevil. But uh, I was like, all right, I got to get that one, too, because this way I can have like a good, you know, Venom and a you know, hero and a kind of a carnage looking hero on the other side. And uh, just I love the little horns and they took his they, no eyes, no eyes. I love that because he's blind. It's it's phenomenal. Um, so anyway, I was like, all right, I got to have that. But then when I went up to the counter, the girl was like, all right, look, if you buy these two, the total is $25. But we have a special going right now that if you buy three, it's only $27. So it's only $2 more for one more Funko Pop. Is there any other one over there you wanted? And I went back and forth because I actually, there's a new Batman one out that was like a vampire from like a Red Rain or whatever that comic was called. And I was like, oh, I kind of want the vampire Batman one. That way I can, you know, build up a Batman collection. Uh, but then I was like, no, nah, I... I saw this other figure, and I, too, am also, uh, you know, like I said, I'm a big X-Men fan. And when I saw this one, this is figure number 514, Venomized X-23, right here. And she comes with a little stand, which is nice, because not all the figures do. I wish they did. I wish every figure had this uh, with a hole in their foot, because over time, you know, they just fall over sometimes. And so I, I really wish that everything had those. I think you could buy these, maybe. But um, anyway... Her position is cool. It's X-23. She's got like these like whips coming out of her hair there too, uh, which is great. So this is Laura and she's got like a yellow symbiote and she's like black and yellow. She's like a, uh, you know, a fan of the Steelers or something or the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, but uh, yeah, I love this. When I saw this one too, I was like, all right, I think this one goes, it wins over the Batman one just a little bit. Although Vampire Batman is cool. I, this one, I was like, I don't know. I think this will be good just to have the three Venom figures in the series that I want. Because you remember when the first Venomized ones came out, I wasn't really interested in them. I got the I got Venom himself, um, and that was it. I was kind of like, all right, I'm I'm good. I think I got Carnage too, but I was just like, I'm good, man. I don't I don't want any of the other ones. Uh, the, they didn't really interest me that much. I uh, seen Venom version of those characters, but these ones I was like, I I, I gotta have them. <laughs> I just had to have them, um, especially for that price where it was only two dollars more to get Laura. I was like, all right, that's a steal. And then on top of that, they gave me a fifteen dollar coupon. Uh, so next because I went over 30 bucks. I think I bought like a sticker, a Spider-Man sticker too, for like 50 cents. They gave me a coupon. So next time I go in, and then if I go in in the next 10 days, um, I have $15 off another $30 purchase. So if some 
you know, by some miracle, if the Haunted Mansion figures come out in the next 10 days, I can go there, buy $30 worth of them, but only have to pay 15 bucks for them. So I think that I was like, that is also worth doing it because then that way I can help my brother out, send him some figures um, and, you know, keep my budget a little bit more restrained, uh, especially since it was only $2 more uh, for Laura and 50 cents for the sticker. I'm like, just that, you know, spending $2.50 to save $15 later on stuff I'm definitely going to buy, you know, the Haunted Mansion stuff. So it kind of worked out. But yeah, I mean, I'm not a big Funko Pop collector. You guys know that. I have a couple of the Resident Evil ones. I have a lot of the Supernatural ones. Um, and I have some Batman ones, but, uh, and then of course one, you know, Venom and Carnage, but that's it. That's all I really have. I don't really, you know, don't want to dive too into this, uh, you know, um, this level of collecting. Although what I do like about it again, as a collector is if you have a budget, Funko Pops fit that budget. I mean, most people can spend the most collectors at least can spend like 10 or 15 bucks or spare 10 or 15 bucks a week on a collectible. And so Funko Pops feed that. I mean, that, that, like I said, I like their business model. It fits in right there. If you only have 10 or 15 bucks to spend, chances are you can find something from Funko Pop to buy that, uh, you know, is some, uh, some type of fandom you love. And so for that reason, I was like, all right, well, they, they got me this week. Uh, they got me with the Venom stuff, but I'm glad. I'm glad I got these characters. And like I said, if I, ever a day where I can, you know, add more stuff or get a bigger place and I can have like a different backgrounds and stuff, um, I can't wait to display all the Venom stuff I have. It won't just be like Mega Man and other things mixed in where I have to cram everything on one bookshelf because my room's so small. I only have these two shelves right here um, and that's it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it would be nice one day to have, you know, that whole shelf just full of Venom stuff that's so just Venom's behind me um, and then have another shelf with just Batman stuff so that when I do those shows, just Batman's behind me and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, that's the dream one day. But right now I got to keep it frugal and uh, you know, these figures help me do that because 27 bucks for three of them was not bad. So do you collect Funko Pops? I want to know what you think. I know we covered these a little bit months ago that they were coming out and I told you guys I wasn't really interested, but sometimes when I see these things in person, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I can see why like there's such a hardcore fan base of these things because they, they do look cool and they're simple. And, you know, I like simple things sometimes. And I like the designs on these things. They did a really good job. Like, I love that he has no eyes. It's so fantastic. And I love her mohawk. It's so wonderful. Um, yeah. So these were, anyway, that's uh, that's all I got to say in this episode. I know I talked long enough about these Funko Pops. But I want to hear your thoughts. Um, did you buy any of these? Are you going to buy the other ones? The Groot one, the Rocket, the Thanos? Uh, I'd love to hear about your Venom collection and your toys. Because last episode, we talked about the PVC statues. This episode, of, uh, you know, for Funko Pops. So let me know what Venom stuff do you collect outside of just the comic books. Um, I'd love to hear all that stuff down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.